welcome back to the show. Airfield Estate in Dublin have recently launched their Breakfast Club. Aimed at primary school children, the initiative showcases the journey from the farm to the food on our plates. So I paid them a visit recently to find out more. Christy, thank you for inviting us here this morning to Airfield Estate. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of Airfield Estate, first of all? Absolutely. Well, Airfield Estate is a charitable trust uh, set up in 1974 by the two Overend sisters. They set it up for the education and recreation of Dublin and Ireland. And so that's what we're, we're doing to this day now. So when did you come up with the idea of the Breakfast Club? Well, it ties everything that we do at Airfield together. Um, we get to have the children out. They get to see where their food comes from. They get to cook for themselves, at the table themselves, eat it for themselves. Themselves. There's no part of the story that they don't get to see. Then we get to go down to the farm and see the cows being milked and get to explain where milk comes from. We pasteurise all of our own Jersey milk on site as well. And so they get the whole story from grass to glass in 50 metres. In this age of increasing obesity in our children, and the statistics are quite worrying, how important is it to you as an educational unit to encourage our children to take an interest in their food and, and the origins of it? Oh, it's absolutely pivotal. I mean, here it's so fantastic to see them eating their egg and their toast for breakfast. And it's such a simple breakfast. They have an understanding of where it comes from. And so they have an appreciation of how simple food can be and how good simple food can taste without any salt being added to it, without any sugary breakfast cereals, all of that sort of stuff. So it's, it's a really fantastic opportunity for us to say, this is easy, this is simple, this is healthy, that's it. What kind of animals can we expect to see today? Well, you'll get to meet our worker hens, which are our Rhode Island Reds. They produce our eggs that we use in the bakery and in the restaurant. And then we'll be travelling down past all of the animals in the farmyard to meet our Jersey herd, of which we milk here and pasteurise their milk on site. And it all goes into the restaurant as well. So you mean those two in particular, but you'll see other sheep and cows, everything else on the way down as well. These are all the egg layers here that we have at Airfield. So these are the hens, they're Rhode Island Reds. And um, they'll lay tons and tons and tons of eggs. But now you can see we have two other little chickens here as well and so they're not they're not girls they're not the same as these guys so what kind they're boys what are the boys called boosters yeah exactly so these two here were hatched out last year at airfield they're another breed of chicken called silkies so the girls keep them all in check so the girls in the boxes here what do roosters do in the mornings cockle-doodle-doo cock cock exactly yeah they give a big shout out and do you know why they do that do you know why they do that it's like everyone up I think everybody up is one reason, but another reason is to say that if you can hear a rooster calling, if you can hear that calling, they're the boss of that whole area. They want to be in charge. Okay guys, now we're here at the polytunnels. Um, polytunnels are the gardener's favourite friend in winter because it just rains and it's just so cold and miserable. We can't grow any plants outside in winter. But when we've got a polytunnel, we can grow a whole range of food that our chefs just love. This place is hotter than the outside because it's covered with a plastic layer. And this plastic layer is kind of perspex, so it allows the light in but it, and the heat in, but it doesn't allow it to go back out again. So it's literally like a little enclosed area. Helena, what was your favourite part of today? Well, I like the chickens, but I think my favourite part was the cows. I like the baby ones, they're really cute. And what's the breakfast taste like? It's really nice. It's really good that we got to pick the eggs and then we got to eat them. Why do you think it's so important that we learn all about the food that we eat? So we don't get poisoned. <laughs> Betsy, as the children's teacher, do you think they enjoyed themselves today? Oh, our children love coming to Airfield. We're regular visitors here. Kirsty and her education team are just wonderful and they always have a great welcome for us and so much for the children here to see and to learn about. Of course, Airfield Estate isn't just for the little ones because there's plenty to do for the big kids as well. For more information, you can log on to www.airfield.ie. Thank <laughs> you.